everybody, this is Jen from Cookies, Cupcakes, and Cardio.com. Today we're going to be using colored icing sheets from Photofrost to make a poinsettia cake. So what you're going to need to make this cake are three layers of cake. So what I'm using is a full recipe of our vanilla cake recipe, which is available on our channel. And I'm using half of a recipe of our red velvet cake, which is also available. We're going to be using our Cricut cake and Photo Frost green and red icing sheets. So we're going to be cutting out the leaves and petals on Photo Frost icing sheets, green and red. And we're going to attach them to the Cricut cake mat and we'll run them through the Cricut cake. Now you can get cartridges that will um, print out these certain leaves and whatnot through Cricut Cake, but what we do is we load a software program and lay it out on the computer. We just find that a little bit easier to work with. So we're going to attach the icing sheet to the mat and we'll be back to show you how it runs through to cut. So we've attached the icing sheet to the cutting mat using Crisco and then along the edges just used some pieces of sterile medical tape. So we're going to run the red through first and then we'll run the green through and we'll be back to show you when the green process starts. So we finished the red and now we have the green icing sheet ready, loaded and going to cut. So we finished cutting out all of the different leaves and petals that we're going to need for the poinsettia. The big ones are going to go on the top of the cake and the small ones are going to go around the base of it. So we'll show you all of those after, but first we have to ice the cake. So using a batch of vanilla buttercream, I'm going to get started by icing the cake. Okay, I'm starting with our vanilla buttercream. And just a reminder, if you don't have a favorite vanilla buttercream recipe, you can check ours out. It's on our channel. Just by searching, you can find it. So I'm putting down, I'm gonna alternate the layers of vanilla, then red velvet, and then a vanilla to start off the top again. So I finished icing the cake. I did that in two parts. The first part was the crumb coat, which collects all of the wayward crumbs, and then put it into the freezer for about 15 minutes to solidify the icing, and then you bring it back out and cover it for its final coating. So now I'm going to collect all the different pieces of the poinsettia that we've gotten cut out with the Cricut cake, and we're going to get ready to decorate the cake. So we've assembled all of the poinsettia pieces together. These smaller ones are going to go along the edge of the bottom of the border for the cake. And this nice large one is going to go on the top. So I'm just gonna show you how we assemble the smaller border ones. Um, so what we did was on this green one, we cut off two petals and then the same here, like we just cut apart the flowers here and then two of them were on there. So that just makes you can use all the different pieces up when you're putting all your poinsettias together. So what I'm going to use to stick them together is what's a mixture of tylose and, and water and it's a cake adhesive. If you don't have any tylose, you can just use water. That will work just as fine. So I'm just going to use a little bit on the edge of my brush and I'm starting with the larger of the red. 
and it's going to go directly on top of the green. And then I'm taking the two smaller ones and that's going to be off-centered in between the spaces of the petals. And then the last one is the third, the three of the small. And that sits all in the middle there. And then to get the center of the poinsettia, just take a little bit of the Tylos paste. And using tweezers, I'm just putting little white sprinkles in the middle. So that's how you assemble the smaller ones. And you can see like with the bigger one, we did it the exact same way. We just didn't have to cut any of the petals off the pieces. So we, the next step that we'll do is putting these onto the cake. So I'm going to take one of the border pieces that we just assembled, and I'm just going to flip it over and put the tilus on the back of the whole thing now. And then I'm just going to lightly apply it to the edge of the cake. And then just keep going around. Now we're going to put the top on in the exact same way, gently flipping it over and applying Tylos or the water. placing it in the center. So here's our completed poinsettia cake and we've taken a slice out of it so you can see the different layers of the vanilla and the red velvet. We used Photofrost edible colored icing sheets and they, you can find them at photofrost.com. So thank you to everybody for watching. Remember to subscribe to our channel. If you've liked what you've seen, give us a big thumbs up. Leave us a comment if you have any questions. And otherwise, you can find us on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+.